Hello everybody, it's rc 61 here, and we are playing Super Mario World. Oh, this game's so fun. I'm gonna go ahead and release file A, and end, yes. And we'll begin file A. And as you may notice, my voice sounds probably different, I would guess, because I am using a new microphone. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toll's soul is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Okay, that sounds like a typical Mario story. I remember, like, the Game Boy version had them in a balloon and Bowser came and kidnapped them or something. So, anyway... Welcome to Yoshi's house. And this is an information block. Hello, sorry I'm not home, but I have to go rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Yoshi. Okay. Works with me. So, let's begin by going to Yoshi's Island 1. Kind of just the names of these levels. Um, they're always based off the place, and they always say one or secret or because this game kind of it has some stuff to it. We won't get into it probably this episode, but next episode we'll definitely get into some different different aspects of the game because unlike if you played if you haven't played this oh wow. You can store items if you get extra, and then if you press the A button, you can do the spin jump, like that. Break those open so you can go down the pipe. And get extra stuff. Um, so some general differences between this and Super Mario Bros. 3, since it looks so similar on the world map anyway, is that all the hidden secrets... Alright, point of advice. You can hold on and actually not... Yeah, I already said that. You can press select at any time to actually get it. And it'll actually switch out the item you have. So if I had a flower up there, fire flower, I could press minus to get it. And then it would put my mushroom up there. Now, what that's going to say is you can grab it by holding down the run button, which happens to be the Y button. And then you can look up and you press the B button, which is the jump button. Oh, wait, never mind. You let go of the Y button and you shoot that up. And then we can get an extra life. Extra lives are green, normal lives are red, fire flowers, they look like that. So anyway, um, a big difference between the overworld in this game and Mario... Super Mario Bros. 3 is that in Super Mario Bros. 3, um, you find the secrets by using items in certain locations, you know? But in this game, you have to find a secret inside the level, so there could be two exits. And how you identify this is by if it's a yellow dot, the level you're going into, or red. Red means two exits, yellow means one. And now you'll come to Yellow Switch Palace. Um, each of them has some kind of gimmick to get extra lives, and this one's that there's coins everywhere! Everywhere, 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 everywhere! Get as many 1-ups as you can, because you can get so many freaking 1-ups. And, yeah. We Mario's pretending to fly. But yeah, that's basically the general difference between this game and Mario 3, since they both have the world map and stuff, so... And by hitting this, we will turn all those dotted yellow squares into actual yellow squares that will help us either find secrets, get items, save us from falling down gaps, etc. Um, obviously that's not required. That's kind of the nice thing about this game is there's stuff that's not required. And there's other stuff that is required. And so, I, I really like that aspect of this game. So now we can go on to Yoshi's Island 2. Now... Okay, I don't know what was up with that music. I just paused there and the music happened to play, but... <laughs> okay. Beginning with level 2, it's kind of suggested. Now, you want to actually pick that up. Fireballs kind of ruin that. And you can shoot that forward, or throw the um, shell forward, and you'll hit them all to get one up. Now, you can see we got this yellow block here. It gave us an extra mushroom. So. Wasn't too useful, since we already had stuff. And we will meet... Yoshi! Hooray! Thanks for rescuing me! My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. Okay. Now Yoshi can eat fruit. Um, by pressing the run button, you shoot fireballs and you can also eat stuff with Yoshi. Now if Yoshi eats a red turtle, he can shoot fire out like that. 
Green turtle, he'll just shoot the shell back out. Um, there's actually blue turtles, and I believe they let him fly, if I remember correctly. And yellow tur- I don't know what yellow does. I will have to figure that out. It's been a long time since it- And now if you get another Yoshi egg, while you have Yoshi, you'll get one up instead. Now these are mole creatures. Now this is a good example right here. Yoshi cannot go up vines with you. Now if you press the A button, you'll be able to get off, come up here, grab it, but then we can go back down and get Yoshi. Now the nice thing about this game, unlike New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which you may have, well, I'm sure someone out there has played that game and hasn't played this one, um, Yoshi actually carries over from level to level and that is extremely nice. Now you have these blue blocks, you can pick them up and throw them. All you want. But it's limited time. Now that's the one right there you want to hit to get one up. The rest have just coins, so don't really bother with them. Just hit that one in the middle. And and uh, eat him. Yes. Now these blocks will change coins into these blocks and coins into the other blocks. Now that's a goal post. It's kind of like the flagpole, but if you hit where the bar is, you get these stars. Once you get 100, you can play a bonus game to get extra lives, which is extremely nice. So, yeah. Onto Yoshi's Island 3. Oh, kind of changed the scenery. I wonder what this says, actually. Point of advice, the big coins are dragon coins. If you pick up five of those in one area, you may get you get an extra money, yeah. You're not you may get, you just might get it. And as you can see, these yellows kind of create a safe area for if you fall, so. By going and doing that, you kind of help yourself if you screw up here, which I don't think I will, but never know. Get so many extra lives. For the most, so those ones right here, you might be like, what's inside of those? Most of the time when they create platforms like this, that means there's nothing inside, and wow. Oh, but there's something inside that one. Yeah, if you could get up to those, I'm sure there would be nothing inside, because that's just how it is. So. Oh, nice. Uh, and Yoshi can also, as you can see, if Yoshi jumps on top of a Koopa, he'll actually kill the Koopa in one hit and not even leave behind the shell. Yeah. Use Yoshi to clean up your dirty alert work, guys. Now, if you want to head down this pipe, there's a secret. Now, Yoshi can't really eat those stuff. He can just kind of, yeah. And then I'll create this path so you don't have to burn on the lava, but you do get the dragon coin. I just call them Yoshi coins mostly, but we talked about dragon coins this episode. Might as well call them a dragon coin. So, and get a fire flower. As you can see, it went up there since I had another fire flower. So. And, and, and. Now these blocks are kind of annoying because they're changing. Fortunately, there's that platform right here. Just gonna skip that. I don't really bother with the dragon coins. This isn't gonna be a... Uh, I wouldn't say a 100% run. I will play every single level. And now these stars, I don't... I have no idea what they are. Someone in the comments tell everybody because I have no idea. Anyway, I guess I could have gotten extra life, but oh well. And that we get 16 more star points for a grand total of 62. So if we get... I believe that is 38 more, we will actually get bonus life. And now you can see this is a blue puddle, that means we are going to a water level. Now you might remember these if you've ever played the original Mario where the fish are jumping, except for it's not quite as random. Now one annoying thing is you may have saw there, um, I had a fire flower which is better than a, um, what's it called? Oh dang, I got rid of that, I was just gonna hit that but... Oh well, we've got a star and that's seriously laggy. Yoshi swim, Yoshi swim, Yoshi swim, Yoshi swim, Yoshi swim. But we can basically kill anything with a... Basically anything and everything. Now these spiky guys you can't kill normally if I'm correct. But since we have the star, we can kill them. And with that, um, that probably just tells us about this. We got 20, so... Not next time we'll get it, the time after that, and the reason I say not next time is because... Not next stage is why I mean by that, but um... The next stage is actually a castle level. This is Iggy's castle. Now, the thing about castles, and there's gonna be ghost mansions later, is Yoshi... 
we're a good pet owner, you know, we respect the laws of the land. And the laws of the land happen to say, no pets allowed. And that includes Yoshi. Now these you can basically grab on and hit Koopas in the head and they'll kill them. Now if they're behind, you can press the Y button to actually hurt them. So, bang, yeah. Fire flower up there, I don't need it. Oh, I, I, I didn't mention that. I was mentioning it and I think I stopped. Um, if you saw there in the water level, I um, got a mushroom and it swapped out for the fire flower, even though the fire flower is back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. Just phone. And I do know this. I did practice this thing a little. Um, the I did test out the mic a little bit beforehand. I do know it's a bit. You'll hear more things. Now, welcome to the first section that's actually going to be an auto scrolling section. Now, the trick with this is you just need to figure out these different ways to dodge this. Whether it's staying behind of the screen, getting ahead, etc. So, in this case, I want to stay behind. Some cases you want to run ahead, like that one, and then you'll come to a red door. Um, every castle has a red door, and you'll go in and you'll fight the boss. Now, the trick of this boss is you want to hit him a certain direction so he falls in the lava. So when it's tilting this way, I want to hit him and he'll fall in the lava eventually, and he will die, completing the level. Course clear. Not too bad of a first world. Um, I will say the next worlds get harder. Thank you, Mario. And I always love it. He, he blows up the castles each in different ways. Mario has defeated the determined Iggy Koopa, Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in the egg. Together they now travel to Donut Land. So we're in Dinosaur Land and now we're heading to Donut Land. Now there wasn't any secrets really other than the um, yellow switch which we can see there so now we are in donut plains number one now this is where the game really expands because this is the first level to have a split path now we have a new power up here oh I missed it sorry I'll, I'll make sure to get it um, it's basically the only other power up in the game other than Yoshi's Yoshi really Yoshi kind of gets his power up, obviously. Oh, what? Okay, whatever. Yoshi gets his power ups from. Oh, uh, uh, you guys get the one. He gets his power ups from the Koopas. Okay, now here's a game. I have no idea what the order of these, but basically, if you hit the right one, you get an O. If you hit the wrong one, you get an X. And for every time you get three in a row, you win. See, I got it wrong. Well, you don't get an X, I guess. Okay, this one. Yeah, so I think there's only one order, and so yeah, that probably gave away all the orders since I at least got the first one right. Kind of, I was randomly guessing there. So now, if you ever see one of those guys with a flashing red cape, you can get um the new ability, which is come on, just waiting to get it, and I'm not getting it anywhere. Okay, you ate it, but you still shot it. Okay, whatever. You know, I'm gonna show off the stupid new ability. What? No, what? Uh, no! Dang it, I killed the guy with the red cape. Okay, Yoshi. Yoshi, come back. Okay. Now, this is where the secret is. If you have the green blocks, which you can see they're green, you can actually go up and find a secret. But since we don't, we can't. And, oh my goodness. What? Okay, that was interesting. I I beat the level and then jumped on Yoshi. I, I, as soon as you beat the level most of the time in these games, Yoshi's done for. I, I didn't, That was awesome. That was awesome. Now, as you can see, there's red dots and there's a red dot here. Now, if it has those kind of ground things around it, that means it's an underground level. And the thing about the first underground level in this game is they had to make it a moving automatic one. That's just awesome. Thank you, game designers. Anyway, at least Yoshi can eat everything. That's kind of nice. I've never, I actually don't recall, despite how much I've played this game, I don't recall Yoshi ever. Oh, dang it. Bye, Yoshi. I'll miss you. Here's the new ability. This is Cape Mario. If you press the Y button, you'll spin. 
you can do that by pressing the A button, B, you just run. Now, if you- oh, crap. That is what you do not want to have happen to you while playing one of those levels. That auto-scrolls, because obviously you'll die. So, anyway. Um, I will be showing the secret exit first. More than likely in this episode. Just because, in my opinion, it's easier. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yeah, this is probably what I would call my childhood game. First game I actually remember playing, so... I don't... Oh, wow. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna just get stupid mushroom back in a sec, so... Yeah, just don't get caught by the screen in between a wall like that one right there. Because that will be instant game over, as you saw. <laughs> well, not game over, but instant life down. I gotta say, I love the capability. Until I run out of it. Well, lose it. Not run out. Yeah, I run out of capability. This isn't Mario 64 where you can run out of stupid. Alright, guys, sorry about that. Again, phone. I have to keep it on because Tyler, who's in the boss rush, thinks he forgot something at my house and I'm telling him it's not here. Okay, anyway. Head in here, and this is a secret. Um, got a football player here, I call them. I don't, I don't know what they really are. I don't like them, they're annoying. So what you're going to want to do here is there's kind of a jerkish thing. you got this blue shell here. And you have to get in here, grab it without knocking it. Otherwise, you will be in pain because it will probably hurt you. Kick that up there and you will find a secret passage here. First secret passage that we can actually get to. And the mushroom's gone! Okay. And so is Mario. And it will open the last thing I think we will do for this episode. Which is the green palace. So what you're going to want to do is jump... Oh, dang it. Okay, you want to actually put this, you want to keep this on this right here. Come on. No, oh! No. Ow, ow, ow! No, 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 don't! Okay, this is a complete failure. Okay, run back over here. Okay, he'll get the shell, he'll kick it, and then you want to run along, and then you'll get the points for it. Yeah. If you can do it right, you can fall on the guy who kicks its head, and I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we'll hit the green switch, and we will now make the green blocks appear, allowing us to unlock more secrets in this area, but I think we'll leave that to next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me if you like my new mic. Probably a lot more accurate. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, because I did. It's Mario. Why couldn't I enjoy it? Wah! See you guys then.